Good morning, welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to my channel, my name is Chrissy and this is my little cat Charlie, who's blind. <laughs> oh, I've got to take her to the vets this morning, I'm dreading it because I've got to get her teeth checked on. I think she's got a bit of a bungy tooth, so they might pull it out. Oh, I'll just put her up on the bed. Oh, <clears throat> so how is everybody? Did I say I will be doing a prediction reading for the 10th of August to today, guys? But anyway, oh, that's just my cat talking, you know. She's a bit of a chatterbox like her mother. Um, okay, first up, guys, lots to talk about today. Um, I went to the chiropractor yesterday, guys. Oh, yay! Finally got to my chiropractor. I've been going to him for like forever since my little boy was little, who is now 20. Um, and so we started going to him originally. He used to live in our hometown. Now he lives down the coast. Um, and I got all clacked into shape, guys. He um, clacked all my neck bones were out of whack, My particularly my atlas. So, guys, if you're getting headaches and you're getting bad necks, go and get maybe a – he's a Neuralink guy, so he actually connects the body and mind and everything together too. So I'm very lucky he's, like, not just a basic – chiropractor he's a he works on the mind and body as well so he has pushed and he got his little clacker gun and he put all my atlas which is the top vertebrae had they were really out no wonder i felt like my neck was <laughs> so bad oh, and actually i watched a video on it last night the atlas um bone <clears throat> it's a bone and it's it's connected to a, another one called an axis an atlas and axis and they work together to move your head and he was the guy was describing it like um where we have it's like the weight and holding your head up and I thought it was a good description of everything we've kind of been through we've had to hold our head up um despite everything that we've gone through and now that everything's coming to fruition pretty much every conspiracy we've still got to keep holding our head up and that's that's been a lot that's been um weighing us down heavily over the last few years hasn't it guys so this guy <laughs> um said it's like you know, holding up the weight of the world on using our neck. I guess if you think of a globe on a stick, <laughs> you know, those ones that you spin, um, that's kind of what he was kind of saying. You know, we've had to hold a lot up. We have. We've had to hold up the truth. We had to stay in our power. So that's what happened with my neck, guys. And I thought that was just a good analogy I saw last night on YouTube. So my axis has been cracked back in he also worked on my i think number five vertebrae was really bad and he feels like that's connected to my knee inflammation my vertebrae which probably makes sense for me everybody you'll be different your journeys will be different but a couple of years ago i had a really bad fall down the back stairs on the slippery frost you know how icy it gets guys i know a lot of you guys <laughs> live in cold countries and i did actually i think compress a bit of a disc in my back it's never been quite the same since. So he thinks that could be what's triggering the inflammation and the struggles I'm having in my knee. So that's my journey. Enough of me, guys. I just want to fill you in and keep you up to date. I hope you guys are going all right. So maybe look at getting clacked back in with a chiropractor because, again, it's about alignment. See, my neck was out of alignment. My back was out of alignment. We talk about these things about Bashar and Esther Hicks and all that talking about alignment and that's why we talk so much about manifesting and creating things here as well um so touch wood feeling a lot better today my neck's feeling so much more flexible I know it'll take a day or two to relax the muscles down but oh it's just I'm oh, so glad to get to him <laughs> so if you are suffering try and find a Neuralink chiropractor or whatever works for you that's just what I did yesterday. Okay, let's get back into it. A bit of admin first, guys, before the reading. <laughs> Have you guys been watching the SAG protests in America? Oh, funny as. Um, this is the actors and writing fighting against um, AI taking over their industry, which you can totally understand. We were talking about it the other day. Um, you need those. Oh, I just got to write something down, guys, while I think of it. You know what I'm like. I get that much. Oh, sorry, I'm shaking you with my writing. Um, yeah, and when you see the video, you've got to go check it out, guys. It's funny as they've got this little one of those little dog AI robots walking along with the placards. <laughs> what is that? They're fighting against AI and they've got a robot in the march, like, of the protest. It's just hilarious. You've got to go see it. The dog robot with its picket, picket sign. Mm. 
pretty funny. So they're still protesting. And I think they've got a right to protest. Imagine that. Imagine if everything's AI. Like I said the other week, it'll take the emotions out of things, won't it? I'm not guessing they're very emotional with the way they would write. But anyway, um, the other thing here, guys, is um, they've been flashing up on the screen this morning on TV. Uh, it just gets funnier, doesn't it? Commonwealth Bank. And we know we know that all the little people are being you know, charged enormous amounts of interest and being taken down by the banks and everything's becoming very challenging with the banks. Oh, yes, but Commonwealth Bank announces in Australia $10.2 billion profit. Oh, goody gumdrops for them, not for the little people. Um, and where's all that money go? Oh, I'd like to know who gets all that money. I'm guessing it's the CEOs and everything. But where's it all go? Probably in government's pocket. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, the other thing is, guys, I think we're getting interest rates going up again soon here in Oz. I know you guys are getting them crazy. Some of you have been saying you've had 14 interest rate rises. We're catching up, though. I think this will be our 14th. <laughs> so we're lagging behind a little bit. But I'm pretty sure it's coming pretty soon. Now, the last thing I just wanted to touch on, guys, is people on my Facebook. And this isn't my public page. It's my private page. So we're meaning sleepwalkers, people waking up, people taking their bubble denial suits are talking about it on Facebook. Hooray! Someone posted an article yesterday, guys. And it was about the UK and how bad everything's getting over there. It was about, um, it was like one person's story, how they can't afford to pay their rent. And then it, it was just like a woe is me, you know, naturally sad story. And this person shared it that I know and said, what's the world coming to? And there's like all these comments underneath. And it was stuff like, oh, this is terrible. And they were tagging each other in things. And then I wrote a course, oh, well, now the Great Reset's here. We're probably going to be credit scored anyway. So, and I do my little seed planting, Jen. You'll be very proud of me. So this is happening, guys. They are waking up because there's too much crap to not. So we know that's happening. Oh, and lastly, sorry, forgot about Hawaii. They're having horrific fires. I don't know what's starting them. I don't know what's going on. Remember the other week I kept getting Hawaii volcanic energy armageddon -y. Didn't I even say that? I can't even remember. I can't even remember. I'd have to go back and find the video and that'd be very hard because I do one every day. If you guys remember, that would be great. But I'm sure I was talking about Hawaii for a while, quite a few weeks, that things were going to be like taken down and then there was changes. Anyway, I don't know, but take care if you're in Hawaii, anybody, because those fires sound like they're pretty horrific at the moment. So things are being kind of wiped out in Hawaii at the moment. So take care over there. All right, let's get started with the reading. Enough of me yipping and yapping. And we'll see what comes up. Cheers, everyone. I've got my coffee. I, just, I keep... <laughs> The guides keep saying one day we're just going to look back and laugh. But not laugh as in, <laughs> it's not that laugh. It's laugh as in pff, like that puffed, like like a, a, an internal giggle um, because all this is coming true. Everything, guys, pretty much word for word accuracy, pinpoint, that we've been saying in the last pretty much four years now, um, is happening. Everything is happening. The button has been pushed and the reset is in takeoff mode. Um, all systems go. Um, that's just what I'm getting. All systems go. And this, it's like the starting of a rocket ship. These elites are doing the old 10, 9, 8, and they can't wait to like push that button and just get it all boom, taking off. That's what I'm getting. And we're just like looking from a distance. It's like we're looking from a distance at the reset rocket ship launch. It's being launched in the distance. We're not involved because we've got our protective gear on and we've gone back up on the behind the hills and we're just looking from over the hills protecting ourselves, like showing us all laying on the hills. <laughs> you know how kids watch things when they're little from the hills and they watch things happen? That's us being protected, guys, all the BS detectors here on my channel. We're just watching the, uh, what would you call it, the great takeoff 
of everything. <laughs> um, like a spaceship launch it is. Well, that should wake a few people up when they get hit hard with everything again. So it's the big launch now. The button's been pushed. Uh, uh, but we're still watching from afar, guys. Stay there. Stay out of it all. Um, all right. And the guides are kind of saying not not that much is hidden anymore. A lot, not as much is hidden anymore. It, it's more out there in your face now. Um, because the thing is, at the end of the day, as we know here, guys, you, you can only really hide the reset for so long because there comes a point where they have to actually implement it and and get it out there um, and get it happening. So that's where we're at now. We're at the launch button, and they're ready to roll it on out <laughs> oh great uh, so it had to happen at some point this should wake a few people up now you would think so we got from sort of june to december was going to be a very big awakening um time of the shift a lot of shift and we we're on the turning point which i think we are if people are talking about it on facebook guys that's awesome that means they're starting to listen to their gut. They're starting to feel. They're starting to sense. Their intuition's clicking in at last. Yay. All right, let's see what else we got. Stuck in Germany. What is happening in Germany? Oh, I keep seeing people's Facebook pages and they're all traveling in that. There's people I know on Facebook. And you think, well, how, how can they just travel everywhere? Isn't anyone doing anything? Like, how are people affording all this travel? I don't know. Sometimes my hubby and I talk about it and we go, have we done everything the wrong way? <laughs> like all these people seem to be traveling the world and they're definitely living on a different reality at the, mo at the moment, aren't they, guys? But I am getting Germany. God, I get Germany so much. Must be something happening. There's got to be. Oh, maybe we'll hear about it down the track. Maybe it hasn't happened yet. That's probable, isn't it? All right, let's keep going. Oh, Island, do you have, have you got that Sinead O'Connor? They're giving me her photo. Um, I think you yeah, had the funeral. You've got the funeral. That's a big thing. That'll bring a lot of people together. And and she was quite, if you think about it, I think, it is it in Ireland? I think it is. I'm getting Ireland. She, she was a very um, sort of controversial political figure, wasn't she, who stood up against the norms. Um, she kind of represents... She represents the little person, like, and, and not that she's a little person, that's not what I'm saying, but um, she's significant. She's a, she's a significant person on the global stage um, because she was outspoken. That's just what I'm getting. She was outspoken in her truths and her beliefs, and she was respected for that, and that's what the guides are trying to tell us guys. Um we will be respected for, uh, but no one will ever tell us. We know no one will ever tell us. But internally, they will see us all in a different light. They will. I know that sounds hard to believe, but people will see us in a different light. It might even take years. It's saying in years to come. In years to come, people will realise that we had our finger on the pulse, that we were in the know. Um, that we weren't so stupid after all, that we weren't um, being mean and unkind and not looking after our family and friends. In fact, we were doing the opposite. We were looking after them. We actually were looking after them. See, this is all going to spill out in time. It's not going to happen now. It's going to probably take a couple of years for people to realise. And, of course, they're never going to tell us that, of course. So don't expect anything. <laughs> but... The fact is that we know the truth's come out and that's all we care about, guys, is the bubbles of truth popping and people finding them. That's what we want, isn't it? Just the truth to come out so they can find it and do something. Is anyone doing anything anyway? People are just so, oh, my God. I think that, you know what I reckon? I reckon they're just in shock. And when you go into shock, sometimes you freeze and you just, you don't know what to do. See, it's hard for people to get in their own strength and power, isn't it? 
to find that within themselves, especially if they haven't gone through their quite through their awakening yet. They haven't found that internal strength because you've kind of got to go through that breakdown in order to rise up again into your true power and who you really are. And that's probably what they're kind of you know, going through. They're still probably breaking down a bit. As I said yesterday, be careful of them because they're still probably in a bit of that anger mode. Um, all right, let's keep going. God, we have to keep rising up. Gosh, we know, guys, we have to keep um, expanding, growing. We keep talking about it. We've had it for weeks and weeks and weeks about learning off some masters, keep growing um, in our spiritual skills, knowledge, wisdom. Um, but we have to keep rising up. They keep showing us floating like up to the clouds. We always get that soaring eagle kind of energy where we're in a thermal, we're warm, we're safe, we're, we're just sort of circling but we're getting that high vantage point. So I've got us up in the clouds again. And we even got that ladder climbing up to the clouds, the ladder of bravery. Um, because even though we don't know where we're going sometimes, we're still brave enough to make um, make the, the, the moves forward, um, even into the unknown. We're okay with that. We are. We're okay with it. God, we've done it for four years. Nothing new to us, is it? So I'm getting that song of course, by from the movie Beaches with Bette Midler again. They keep giving it to me, the wind beneath my wings. You are the wind beneath my wings. Beautiful song. Maybe we've got to go and play that today. Um, that's just what I'm getting. Oh, that's a sad movie, isn't it? Where a friend dies of cancer, doesn't she? Oh, it's so sad. Beautiful, but sad. She has a lovely voice, Bette Midler, actually. Um, so that's us. We've got to keep staying up there. And the wind beneath your wings, you think of that eagle energy soaring in the thermal, the wind beneath the wings. Um, and, and the thing is what they're also saying to me, there's like a silence as well. When you're up, when you're up that high, um, apart from the wind and things, probably you can hear that. There's like also a serene silence. And, and that's what we've got to keep finding, that sort of silence by... Um, not getting involved in the chaos. Just just keep your mind cleared and sort of silent, that calming the mind, not being all full of noise and chaos, which is often what can happen. We get involved in all the clutter and allow it in. Don't allow it in. Stay in that silence and viewing things from afar. God, we get that energy a lot, don't we, guys? All right, let's see if there's anything else today. They're wanting us all to be herbivores. We've already known that. We've known that for a long time. And a lot of us struggle with the uh, plant-based. But the thing is, the meat and that that they're doing, and as we've shown here on my channel, um, it's not all plant-based. It's kind of what really is in it. See, there's a lot of ingredients that we don't even recognize or know. So it could be bugs. It could be well, obviously a lot of preservatives, like my son said the other day um, when they had Prince William selling that eco meat or whatever it was, whatever that is. What's eco meat? Does anyone know what eco meat is? I'm going to have to look it up. They really do want us to be herbivores. Well, we know Bill Gates does because he owns all the land now, even probably here in Australia. Um, the head Bill Gates talking about something. Oh, I'll share it to my Facebook page, guys. I can't remember what it was. I was showing my hubby last night, and we just went, oh, why is anyone listening to Bill Gates? He's a nobody. We're like, how can he be the guru on everything? How's he the guru on everything? You know, here's an IT guy who, you know, has skills in all those areas. Oh, and now he's... He knows all about the jab. He knew all about the CV virus. Oh, and then now he's the master farmer who knows all about all the vegan, what to eat. Like, how's this even happening? How's this happening? Oh, my God. Oh, not to forget he was good mates with Epstein, wasn't he? Oh, I forgot about that part. Oh, but no one seems to care about that. Oh, my God. This world is just turning upside down, isn't it, guys? Um, how about we pull one happiness card today and one whispering woods? Um, oh, there's just so much going on, isn't there, guys? 
but they're starting to talk about it on Facebook. So this is awesome because most people won't come out publicly and talk about things, but when it's right in your face and everybody's answering them, well, what can you do? Give up control. Understand that disappointment is the result of false expectations. We've had that one before. So we've basically just got to give up the control now. You've just got to not worry about it, guys. We'll just let this unfold because it is. They're not our battles to fight anymore. We've done ours. We've stepped away. And we'll pull one whispering wood. We've stepped away. We're flying around up there with the wind beneath our wings. Oh, such a cute song. Oh, thanks, guys. Speaking of wings, thanks, guys, for um, sharing with me that Paul McCartney, Linda McCarthy, McCartney, rather, band. I couldn't think of it. It is wings, isn't it? Well, there you go. It has a connections. Oh, you guys are doing well with your synchronicity, finding things, or your army tanks and things like that. Well, lemon tree might be a little more challenging, but, you know, we've got to put these things out there. We don't want to make it too easy, do we? All right, growth. The tallest oak tree once started as a seedling. Don't be afraid to start something new. Oh, well, that's what they're saying, guys. It's time for us to start some new things. Like we have, we've grown so much. And what's that thing? Um, there's a saying, oh, they thought they could bury us, but they forgot we were seeds. Oh, it's a quote I've been meaning to say to you guys for ages. They thought they could bury us, but they forgot we were seeds, that we grew and we grew over the last four years, didn't we, guys? So don't be afraid of starting something new and growing again because that's the message we keep getting. Um, keep expanding your spiritual wisdom and knowledge, guys. And, you know, improve things like our telepathy and, and these kind of things as well. Um, let me see if there's anything to finish with today, guys. Oh, they're giving me that song. Is it hot chocolate? I believe in miracles. Since you came along, you sex thing, you sex thing. So we've got to believe in miracles, guys. That's such a classic old song. Where do these songs come from that the guys think of it? If nothing else, it's good for a laugh and a bit of a memory flashback, isn't it, guys? Hang on. I'm getting this song. I think about it before. Is it Leo Sayer? Hold me close. Oh, no, it's David. Oh, no. Who what? is it? David Essex? Oh, who sings this? Oh, I'm getting all muddled up. I used to, they used to play it when I used to go to the skating rink. Remember we'd have the skating rinks? Weren't they so fun? Hold me close. Don't let me go. Oh, no. I said, I, I love you and I want you to know. Do you know with that love light shining every cloud's got a silver lining so hold me close don't let me go so that's about shining the light guys keep shining the light i love that song i even know who sings it. i can see his face it wasn't david essex was it oh, i can't remember you know how bad i am anyway it's a good song nonetheless and i'll see if there's one more thing hang on They're giving me that song. It's hard for me to say I'm sorry. I just want you to know. This is sleepwalkers and all that. They want to say sorry in that, but they're never going to. They want to. It's in them. It's in them. They want to say these things. They want to say these things, but they're not going to say it. It's hard for me to tell you I'm sorry. Let's see if there's one more thing to close with because that's kind of their stuff, isn't it? They're not going to say it. We know they're not. They're never going to acknowledge that we got anything right. But that's okay. We don't care. We don't need their acknowledgement, do we? We're happy in our own skin and our own decision making. Um, hang on. I 
I give you this song? Hang on. I try to get to the head punchline sometimes, guys. That's why it takes me so long. Oh, they're giving me like two songs. Hang on, they're giving me a Spice Girl song. <laughs> I can't get to the punchline. Hold the fort. I oh, know they're giving me a new song now. This is for us. Um, it's an Elton John song, Candle in the Wind. Ah, oh, what a beautiful song. How's it go? Like a candle in the wind, never knowing what a thing to when the rain sets in. And I would have liked to know you, but I was just a kid. The candle burned out long before your legend of a dude. Oh, I don't know why we're getting that song. Hmm. Probably about the light and keeping a candle going before it poof blows out. But I think he sang that for Lady Diana, didn't he? That was so sad, wasn't it? Oh my god. A lot of mystery around that one. Um anyway, I'm gonna leave you with that song today because it's a beautiful song. And we're gonna go and play it and see if there's any meaning in that song for us today. Look, take care everybody. I hope you're getting through your ailments. This has not been easy. My knee's still Mm, ordinary but my neck's good the atlas has been jammed he said it was so jammed up my neck was so doomed up like this ridiculous so don't put up with those headaches guys go and find a chiropractor or someone who can really massage you back into place um we don't have to suffer anymore we've got to keep moving forward through these things like the soaring eagle just remember that image in your mind guys and keep looking from the hill afar, from a long way away at the rocket launch of the reset <laughs> oh no i'm getting that song by david bowie of course rocket man is it david bowie rocket man oh no that's no that's elton john as well oh my god what am i thinking i'm thinking of that other song by david bowie yeah rocket man we're getting as well today early morning the eyes, where'd you go? rocket man by elton john oh for some reason we're getting elton john today all right take care everybody and i'll say goodbye um hit the like buttons please comment down below subscribe if you can find the subscribe button and I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Bye.